batting practice, stepping up to the plate in English. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to dive into a very interesting English phrase, batting practice. This phrase comes from the world of baseball, but it's used in many different contexts. Let's explore what it means and how you can use it in your daily English conversations. Batting practice literally refers to players in baseball practicing hitting the ball before a game. It's a time when batters work on their swinging technique and timing. However, in everyday English, this phrase has taken on a broader meaning. When someone says they're having batting practice, they could be referring to preparing or warming up for any challenging task. It's all about getting ready and honing your skills. Let's see how batting practice is used outside the baseball field. For instance, if a student says, I'm doing some batting practice for my final exams, they mean they are studying or revising thoroughly as preparation. Or, if an employee mentions batting practice, before a big presentation, they're likely practicing or rehearsing their speech. It's all about being prepared and confident. Now, how can you use this phrase in your daily English? Remember, it's best used in situations where preparation and practice are involved. You could say, I need to do some batting practice before our team meeting tomorrow. This shows that you're taking the time to prepare well. Or, this weekend is going to be batting practice for my baking skills, meaning you'll be practicing a lot. It's important to note that batting practice is a phrase more commonly understood in countries where baseball is popular. In countries where cricket is more prevalent, a similar phrase might be net practice. So, always consider the cultural context when using such phrases. And that's a wrap on batting practice. I hope this video helps you understand and use this phrase more confidently in your English conversations. Remember, language learning is a bit like batting practice. The more you practice, the better you get. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.